Okay, so Sony asked me the other day, what's the difference between a sweet chestnut and a horse chestnut? There's lots. Okay, this is a horse chestnut leaf, and this is a typical sweet chestnut leaf. One, and that is one leaf. Okay, palmate they call that because it looks like a palm. Although I've never seen anybody with hands like that. This is a horse chestnut immature seed. Inside that is the conquer. Um, the sweet chestnut seed is in more parts. It has finer spikes and more numerous. The nut inside looks kind of similar. Um, this is the flower of the sweet chestnut. Okay. The horse chestnut flower is big and white. Far, far bigger and wider. Uh, leaves of the sweet chestnut are alternate. Um, and they're kind of long like that. Forward pointing teeth with a slight curve to it. Okay. These are the same family as oak and uh, beech. So, horse chestnut I think are a family all by themselves. Now, horse chestnut are actually quite useful. Um, the conquerors can be used for uh, varicose veins and things like that. They have a healing effect on capillaries. Um, but they also have soaprins in them, so they can make soap. If you get a, a bag of conquerors, crush them up and run them under water, soap will come out of it and you can wash your hands with it. You can also just crush up leaves with a bit of water. I've done it many times. And you can wash your hands with them. Okay. Not edible, but useful all the same. The nut of the sweet chestnut is edible, and that's the nuts that people sell uh, sometimes at Christmas. You know, you can have sweet chestnut filling in your turkey at Christmas as well. Um, the leaves are astringent, which means they have tannins usually in them. Okay, they'll pit your tools, so you have to clean your tools afterwards. The wood of sweet chest chestnut is, is very easy to split. Um, people make horse nut uh, peel fencing out of it because it's so easy to split. And it's a coppice tree, which means that if you cut it right down to the ground, it'll grow lots and lots of shoots for things like fencing, which are very useful. So you can have a sweet chestnut coppice, which gives you lots of materials, and it'll give you nuts as well. So there you go, there's the main differences. Sweet chestnut, okay, and horse chestnut. The bark is very different as well, but the leaves are the main difference, okay? That's what to look out for. So have a look at that. Alright, cheers.